guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So the last couple of days, I've been trying to amuse myself doing stuff because it's been raining out, and you know, it kind of sucks. Can't shoot outside, um, and shooting in here is no fun because it's too small of a place. So I thought, you know, I've got some target traps, you know, with resetters, and I got a couple more things on the way that I ordered online a while back, and um, I also got a new target trap. Uh, if you remember the video, I did a review on the Gamble Trap. I'll be reviewing this one shortly, but so far I am going to tell you in this video, I am very happy uh, with the new trap. It's definitely much, much stronger than that Gamble one. Um, it can easily handle uh, 22 caliber non-PAL for this one. Anyways, so these targets uh, will cost you little to no money at all like we're talking under a twenty dollar investment we're talking canadian dollars here um in fact the spoon resetting target costed me absolutely zero um just convincing my wife to give up four spoons of uh, two different sizes well actually i think she's got three different sizes there um but anyways the uh, metal i had for the wire uh that was free years back the wood was just scrap wood, uh, so it actually only costed me four drywall screws um, to uh, assemble it, which is like negligible. Um, what's that, like a nickel or something? Um, anyway, so I built a spoon target years ago when I lived in North Bay, and it was one I bolted onto my indoor target range uh, that I had in the basement, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But I thought, I want something a little bit more advanced, but similar idea. Uh, but that I can put anywhere on the ground whatever and it can stand up on its own So I designed this one and built it and uh, I think it's pretty cool And it's going to allow the spoons to also free spin now I didn't have anything for collars So I just used electrical tape which can easily be replaced over time um, You know, I mean if you miss and shoot it, you know um, Or just age, you know, you can replace the tape easy enough the other one I built was this one here. Now this is actually quite the unique contraption. Um, this unravels all the way and uh, each little ninja figure is on about five feet of cord. And uh, so what you do with this is um, you can either build yourself a, a set of posts so it can free hang, which I'm thinking I might do that for, um, you know, down the road when I get the materials for it because that will cost me a few bucks. But for the uh, zero cost, this is an old um, brew handle uh, of some sort um, that got the end nipped off of it. A little bent and twisted, which is fine, no big deal. Um, it's old um, and it's been sitting in my shop here for a couple of years. So I thought, well, I gotta make use of it. A little bit of spray paint. So the spray paint did not actually cost me money either. Um, we have a place called a Hazardous Depot where we can take all of our stuff and uh, I asked about spray paint once and the guy had given me a bunch of cans of spray paint in different colors so even the spray paint was free um, but had I even had to go out and buy a couple of cans of spray paint we're still talking under a twenty dollar investment to go out and buy some spray paint and you don't have to paint it it's just it protects the stuff a little bit better you know type of thing uh, the little ninja characters I got eight of them uh, you get packs of four dollar uh, tree for about a dollar twenty five each actually for each pack uh, so that gives us eight targets so we clamp that down into the workbench um, that I use outside and uh, we just set them up randomly we can stack them even on my metal resetting targets uh, wherever and you shoot them and when they go flying in the air they'll suddenly get jerked back which is kind of really cool but at the same time we're not going to lose them into the bush because we did try using these already and we were shooting at them and yeah we've got like these um, wild raspberry bushes growing in the yard all over and you get pricked to death and it's like no we're done with this I gotta think of something unique for this and uh, so this is a contraption I came up with so you can build targets very inexpensively okay and even if you had to buy this wire um, you can get this stuff at pretty much any uh, hardware store and uh, comes in about a four foot rod and uh, you can get yourself probably two reset two of these spinner targets uh, per rod and I've got this one left and I think I might have one or two more kicking around I've been using the stuff up over the years 
Um, but either way, um, I'll probably build another type of spinner target, but not with spoons. I'll come up with something a little more creative type of thing. Um, I want something that's going to be, you know, really super fun. Uh, maybe I'll make something that, you know, I can um, shatter it. Like, you know, shatter blast targets, right, from Daisy. They got those single little clay targets. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll do something along that line. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I want more and more types of challenges, too, at the same time. Uh, but at the same time, I want fun, you know, and we all do with our air guns. You know, we want to have some fun with them. And target shooting and making yourself challenges is, is actually a good thing, too, especially at the distance thing. But uh, anyways, guys, so this is what I got for you. So, you know, cheap or pretty much free homemade targets uh, for your air guns. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. See you later.